Good morning from uh, Penang, Malaysia. I'm pleased to be here with Steve Hall, uh, Director General of World Fish, who's here to answer some questions on social protection, which is the theme of this year's World Food Day. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Toby. So, first question, how can social protection provide a safety net for small-scale farmers? Well, I think a lot of my colleagues who've been uh, speaking on Periscope over the last few days, I think, have highlighted some of the important issues here. I don't want to repeat and dwell on those too much. Clearly, the issues of insurance and understanding the challenges that small-scale farmers face with extreme weather events, with droughts, with disease, is critically important. And the, as much as we can support the development of quality insurance products or develop community funds which can tide people over in difficult times, that's an important uh, part of what we do. Okay, so the, the second question, what's the role of World Fish in promoting synergies between social protection and agricultural policies? That's a much more interesting question, especially for small-scale fisheries. And the reason for that is because small-scale fisheries in and of themselves, in many circumstances, are actually social protection mechanisms. Um, what we find in very poor rural areas is fishing is a uh, route for last resort. And when the crops fail, or when the tourist industry goes down, or whether alter when alternatives are not there, people can turn to fishing. Now, in some circumstances, therefore, the role of fisheries, small-scale fisheries in particular, as a distributor of food and so, as a social safety net is a critical role. The challenge, of course, is that as we think about the sustainability of fisheries, we want to also ensure that we establish appropriate property rights and other things. And the choice of when that makes sense and how to do that to ensure that those safety net functions are still in place is a really critical role that someone like Worldfish needs to play. Understanding the role that small-scale fisheries are playing in particular contexts is really critical to maintaining the social safety nets that those who are dependent on fisheries um, uh, rely on. And, uh, and, and how, how can we support governments, how can Worldfish uh, support governments and other stakeholders in expanding social protection systems in those rural areas? Well, I think, again, it's about understanding the context in which those people who are dependent upon fisheries and aquaculture um, are operating. So as we think through what the needs and understand and work with communities to understand their needs and their priorities and how that relates to their interests in supporting the development of fisheries and aquaculture, we're in a much stronger position to advise the policy process in ways that align with those people, the needs of those people who are dependent on, on that social safety and protection. Great. Uh, thank you very much for, for joining us here this morning, uh, Steve, and uh, that's a wrap. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you.